Good afternoon, soon to be graduates, faculty, staff, administration of Riverside City College, and the family members of our hardworking students. I am honored to be addressing you all for our 103rd commencement class. I don't know if anybody has informed you yet, but you all know we're going to be graduating right now, right? <laughs> I see a lot of familiar faces today and some new ones, but once again, welcome. My name is Angel Contreras, and I am the 2019-2020 Student Body President of Riverside City College. On behalf of the Associated Students, I want to congratulate all of you, the Class of 2020, for being here on this very exciting day. This day being where we will be able to be recognized for our hard work and dedication to education. Turn our tassels, throw our hats, celebrate with family, then take a long nap because we have all worked so hard. All that hard work is going to pay off regardless of your field of study, from nursing, film arts, automotive technology, to math and science, communications, social and behavioral studies, and art, and many more. You will be the future of our city of Riverside, or wherever your journey takes you and succeed in your careers. That is all thanks to Riverside City College. Let me tell you a quick story. When I graduated high school, all my friends already knew the Cal States or the UCs they were attending. Me, on the other hand, I did not really have the money to afford the schools I wanted to go to. Uh, and I had, I had the grades, but not the financial status. My counselors tried pitching the idea of community colleges, but I did not see myself going to one. But eventually, I had no choice but to come to RCC. And let me tell you, starting off at RCC has completely turned my life around and offered me the best, high-quality education a student can ask for. Because of RCC, I was able to start my career goals at free 99. It doesn't get better than that. But the point of the story is that everyone is going to create or already has a story. Still, RCC is now a part of everyone's storyline in getting to where you are going and how you should never forget the origin of where you started at Riverside City College as a Bengal Tiger. Not only has RCC been by my side through academics, but has opened so many opportunities to grow as an individual. The Associated Students of Riverside City College has a big role in that growth. I first joined ASRCC thinking it was a fraternity in community college. When I found out it wasn't, I was disappointed, but I already made it that far, I wasn't gonna quit. And as I progressed through my years, I just kept moving up with my leadership skills, from being a member of campus activities to directors of clubs, and now to student body president. I learned that being a leader takes a lot of time, patience, skill set, determination, social skills, imagination, a smile on your face, and most important key factor is being yourself. After my first year, I already knew I wanted to make a change and ASRC pretty much gave me this platform to shape the students' issues based on what they wanted it to be. To be a role model for many students is a big task a big task that I was ready to take on and accomplish. And I can honestly say ASRCC has shaped me to be a hardworking advocate, man, and student that I am today. And I am honored and grateful to Deborah Hall, Megan Bottoms, Colleen McGurn, and Lisa Webb for being on this journey with me. Now, this 2019-2020 academic school year has been just a huge roller coaster ride. But you being here has proven to everyone in the city of Riverside that you accepted that challenge, that you were persistent in getting your college education to not only be the next generation of workers, but the next generation of people to change the world in your unique way. Harriet Tubman, a political activist, once said that you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion for reaching the stars to change the world. And she's right because of these things. You were dedicated to bringing yourself to school every day to take classes and pass them. You were dedicated to pulling that all-nighter to complete those essays or homework assignments for your class. You were persistent in having those study sessions with classmates to pass your exams instead of going out and having fun. You were going out of your way to tutoring sessions, library study hours, and under to understand the material. Or you were persistent to going on Google Chrome and Google Quizlet to help you with your answers to your questions. But you made appointments to counselors to stay on top of your progress for this very moment. 
you made it clear that you were ready when you applied for graduation. And most important one by far is that you made it here to commencement. To a lot of students, that is hard, especially to those students who work many jobs, are parents and provide for their children, have something going on at home, or even coming into school late, etc. I tip my hat to all of you for not only pushing through, but doing it together as a whole. We here at RCC are not just a college, we are a family. And in the words of Richard Bach, the bond that links your true family is not one of blood, but of respect and joy in each other's life. And that's Richard Bach, American writer and author. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2020 for your hard work and dedication. Just remember, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is a progress, and working together is a success by Henry Ford. Go change the world, make RCC proud, and remember, you will always be a tiger. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket was clear the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Welcome to the 103rd Commencement Ceremony of Riverside City College. It is my distinct honor and pleasure to celebrate virtually the accomplishments of the Class of 2020. With profound gratitude, I recognize the Chancellor of the Riverside Community College District, Dr. Wolda Bisak. I also recognize the RCCD Board of Trustees, Ms. Mary Figueroa, President, Mr. Bill Hedrick, Vice President, Mr. Jose Alcalas, Secretary, Ms. Virginia Blumenthal, Trustee, and Ms. Tracy Vicar, Trustee. I'd also like to recognize the college's executive leadership team, Dr. Carol Farrar, Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Farida Carter, Vice President of Student Services, Ms. Christine DeMemo, Interim Vice President, Planning and Development, and Dr. Chip West, Vice President, Business Services. I'd also like to thank our distinguished speakers, Dr. Mark Selleck, President of the Academic Senate, Mr. Angel Contreras, President of the Associated Students of RCC, and Ms. Roriana Bauman, our 2020 Student Commencement Speaker. Join me in giving them all a round of applause. <laughs> Graduates. Each of you has committed your heart and your intellect to complete your journey here at Riverside City College. Your accomplishments came not only from your dedication and your hard work, but through the support of a team, our faculty, staff, your children, your parents, your friends, your mentors. All of them together are also celebrating your success. On behalf of the graduates, I thank each and every one on your support team. RCC has an accomplished and dedicated faculty that have spent endless hours inside and outside of the classroom to maximize learning. No college, no university where I've ever worked has a faculty whose excellence exceeds that of RCC. This collective impact will last throughout your lives. This year, we have all experienced unprecedented challenges. None of us expected the school year to end the way that it has. But you persevered. 
I wish to especially acknowledge the amazing RCC faculty for transitioning their classes online so quickly. RCCD was one of the first districts in California to move to a fully online learning environment. Graduates, you are also to be commended for embracing the shift and finishing the semester with great resilience. I worried about what life was going to be like when the campus closed, but once again, you impressed me. Words cannot express the pride and amazement I have for our students, faculty, and staff. I'm especially proud of the students and faculty who served on the front line dealing with the coronavirus. Our nursing students volunteered at multiple county testing sites, and the Applied Digital Media Graphics Club crafted masks and donated them using 3D printers. I especially want to recognize the music students who have been recording pieces and they brought the joy of music to everyone sheltering at home. While these contributions may seem small in the moment, their impacts are immense. College faculty, staff, and administrators take incredible pride in ensuring student learning, creating equitable opportunity, and supporting the potential of all students in achieving your highest potential. We do so through our eight instructional pathways, our engagement centers, and our success coaches. And we do so through award-winning arts, athletics, student clubs, and organizations. This college recognizes and benefits from the diversity of our students. Diversity includes age, race, gender, ethnicity, and sexual orientation. We recognize our military-connected students, students with disabilities, undocumented students who have overcome challenges to succeed in their journey. We are devoted to each one of you. Every student is of great value to us, and every student deserves an opportunity to succeed. Speaking of success, over 5,100 degrees and certificates are being awarded this year. Our youngest degree recipient is 17 years old, and our oldest is 73 years young. 934 of you are graduating with high honors. To the class of 2020, some of you will move on to fine universities across the state and across the nation. Others will immediately join the workforce. Data shows that many of you will remain in this area, beginning careers, raising families, and thereby contributing to the local economy. All of you have proven that you have great potential as leaders. Your capacity to succeed knows no bounds. No matter what path you take after leaving RCC, be certain that your degree or your certificate is foundational to your success. I hope that for you, this time has brought you closer to your loved ones. I hope it has brought clarity and enabled you to prioritize your life. And most of all, I hope it has encouraged people to be more tolerant and more understanding of one another. We fully understand that completing your education and focusing on your future during these uncertain times has been difficult. But look at the perspective it has put on what matters now. Maybe things in the past aren't quite as burdensome, burdensome as they once seemed. Maybe in the big picture, we're all slowing down to embrace the positive and successful future that lies ahead. I hope and I believe that we will all emerge stronger and better. As you leave RCC, please consider the opportunity to return to campus and let us know how you are doing. Mentor those coming after you, or simply take in a game or a performance. You are forever a part of RCC. You are forever a tiger. Don't let today be the last day you connect with RCC. Keep us in your minds and hearts forever. Today, be mindful of the good and celebrate your accomplishments. I wish you happiness, I wish you good health, and I wish you success. On behalf of the RCC faculty, the staff, and the administrators, and on behalf of the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees, congratulations to the class of 2020. Good afternoon. Let me begin by offering my congratulations to you, members of the class of 2020, and by giving my thanks to all of you 
who have assembled here today to offer them your support. I'm Mark Selleck, and I'm a professor of political science and the president of the Riverside City College Academic Senate. As a representative of the college faculty, I would like to express our gratitude to all of you for supporting the college and all of us who work here. This year has been a difficult one. We are in the middle of a pandemic. We are witnessing urban uprisings in response to institutional racism and are reeling from a lack of leadership and vision. Many of you, your families, and your friends have struggled and continue to struggle. The situation has often seemed bleak and the outcome unsure, but this is precisely the time when we need to rely on one another to make the much needed changes to this society that are long overdue and to foster new leaders that can step boldly into a new, better, and more equitable future. And those leaders come from your ranks. The power to affect the changes our country and our community needs resides with you. I'm not going to lie. This won't be easy for any of us. But the members of our community and our college know difficult times, and you personally know how to work hard and to persevere. We have seen you do it, and the proof is in the fact that you are right here, right now, ready to move to your next step of your academic and life journeys. We are so proud of you and have so much faith in you. We look forward to watching what you will become and eagerly await the greatness you will achieve. And we'll be here for you when you need us. Please enjoy the rest of this day. Thank you to my colleagues for showing their continued trust in me. And thank you to the friends and family members who have gathered here today to show their support and their love for all of you. Please be well and stay safe. Greetings to the resilient graduating class of 2020. College, this was nothing like how the movies portrayed it to be, yet somehow the surrealness of it makes us feel as though we just might be living in a TV show or movie somewhere between Grownish and Bird Box. But look at us, pioneering new ways to graduate in spite of it all. We made it. And today we celebrate just one of the many great accomplishments we'll make in our lives. At moments like these, we search for something profound to say. And often it seems like the wisest words have already been spoken. To whom much is given, much is required. Never be limited by others' limited imaginations. Shoot for the moon, even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water. I have yet to conjure my own quote that can stand in comparison but I would like to share one with you that I find very powerful. I am my ancestor's wildest dream. Some of us are fulfilling a family tradition. Many of us are the first in our family to graduate from an institute of higher education. Whether this land was stolen from us or we were brought here against our will, many of us come from a long line of oppressed people who fought, stood, sat, ran, marched, and even sacrificed their lives so that we can be here today. Some of us come from hardworking families and are breaking what seems to be generational curses. Whatever our story, our ancestors would be proud because we made it. I was born and raised in Columbus, Ohio, and contrary to popular belief, we do not all live on farms and milk cows. Three years ago, I announced to my family that I was leaving my hometown and moving to the furthest part of the continental US with my two children and boyfriend to pursue my dream as an American Sign Language interpreter specializing in performance interpreting. Let's just say my family was not happy. Why California? How are you gonna survive? It's so expensive there. You have no family there. My dad and sister even began placing bets on how long they thought I would last. Three months, five months. That reminds me, they each owe me 20 bucks. They weren't wrong. It was a bold leap with no guarantees and it was hard. From homelessness to culture shock, bouncing around from motel to motel. I'm not going to lie, I was even worried there for a second. However, trouble doesn't last always. 
and look at me now, here with you, even if in spirit, as a graduate of the class of 2020. I made it. Spring 2019 was my first semester here at RCC. I remember my first class, Psychology One with Dr. Inez Moore. I remember Dr. Moore walking into the class and thinking to myself, I want inspiration to radiate from my very being when I walk into a room just like Dr. Moore. If I don't inspire others, then what have I truly accomplished? This completely changed the trajectory of my career choice. I wanted to be of service, so I became more involved on campus. I became a supplemental instructor, a peer mentor, and not only joined, but served as president of the Ujima Project on campus. Because you see, in order to inspire, you must first become inspirational. Through my tenure with the Ujima Project, I have been able to plan and host many community service projects, helping students and the Riverside community. In my effort to do meaningful work and be of service, I gained a family, a support system of peers and faculty who helped me get here today. Through their teachings, I have become a more effective communicator and facilitator of communications. Equipped with these new skills, I'll be able to better maneuver the cultural complexities between consumers and my role as an interpreter, as well as my own personal relationships. To Dr. Moore, Professors Mary and Carol, Kwaku Williams, Jess Hamilton, Miguel Reed, Nicole Green, counselors Michael Love and Monique Green, and to the Dean of Student Life, Dr. Lisa Webb, thank you for lighting my fire, watering my garden of knowledge, listening without judgment, and all of the invaluable lessons you have shown me. It took a village, but we made it. Often we think of commencement ceremonies as the celebration of the end of a chapter in our educational journey. However, the word commence means to begin or to start. This is but the beginning of our next chapter. And one thing I want you to keep with you as you encounter the obstacles that are sure to lie ahead is this. We have been stressed, depressed, anxious, up all night studying for tests, midterms, finals, cram sessions, on a ramen noodle diet, broke, cried, tired, sick, Sacrifice relationships, overwhelmed, overworked, frustrated, and we can't forget quarantine. Yet nothing could stop us from achieving our dream. We made it. And if we can conquer this well, we can conquer anything. So to the graduating class of 2020, let the next chapter of our lives commence. And in the wise words of Ariel Sells, peace be the journey. I would like to begin by providing my heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2020 throughout Riverside Community College District Colleges. The commencement ceremony is a ritual that recognizes your past achievements, celebrates your present successes, and serves as a call to action for your future accomplishments. The fact that this ceremony is being conducted virtually does not in any way tarnish your feet. Commencement is and always will be an important milestone in your personal and educational journey. Your abilities make you an asset in this changing world. Dare to be a leader as well as a learner. Do great things. Know with certainty that who you are and what you do matters, not just in time of crisis, but for the rest of your life. You have overcome so much. Together, we overcame so much. Administrators, faculty, and staff worked frantically to transition learning to alternate formats and platforms, ensuring the district's high standards for learning integrity was met. Meeting your educational needs was at the forefront of every decision made by the college's and district's leadership. Staff worked diligently to ensure services, and as they say, faculty brought it home. To say this was a major undertaking would be an understatement. Ultimately, 
your learning continued, knowledge and instruction continued to flow, you adapted with an incredible amount of resilience and responsiveness. This resiliency to your studies and ultimately degree or certificate completion is to be commended. It speaks to your abilities, desire, drive, and your problem-solving capabilities. We understand that over the last three months, there has been more on your mind beyond your education. However, you successfully adjusted to a completely different rhythm of education. This crisis forced the district and its colleges into inventive ways in order to continue the education mission of providing a first-class educational opportunity. By completing your studies, especially in this atmosphere, it shows there is nothing you cannot overcome or accomplish in life. Transitioning from face-to-face -face instruction to isolation learning was not easy. As you move forward, it is important to manage your expectations, both educationally and in life. Don't be hard on yourself as you enter the workforce or transition into your studies to a four-year university. Being hard on yourself won't be helpful. This is an unprecedented crisis worse than the Great Depression. Be realistic as you move forward. At the same time, please be optimistic. This pandemic will pass, jobs will return, new and better opportunities will emerge. Keep a positive outlook and attitude in the coming days, months and years. Don't aim lower, continue to work towards your dream job, your life's passion. So you might be asking, how do I do this? By being compassionate, starting with yourself. Use the skills you have gained to look optimistically to the future, knowing you have and will continue to accomplish greatness. As your journey continues, I ask you to remain connected to family, friends, and this college, your college. If someone reaches out, reach back. This is a time to be kind to one another. Look for the best in each other and always do best to bring it out. This is how communities are built and sustain themselves. No one knows what the future holds, what the new norm looks like, but I say to you, Stay in the moment, worry about today. Tomorrow will take care of itself. I promise our leadership will plan for tomorrow while remaining focused on today. Be safe, be brave. No matter where your travels take you, remember your purpose. Congratulations on your achievement. Riverside Community College District Board of Trustees. The Riverside City College Class of 2020 is composed of candidates for the Associate of Arts and Associate of Science degrees and recipients of the Riverside City College Program Certificates. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of the college, it is my distinct pleasure to present to you RCC's Class of 2020. I am honored to be able to speak to you today as we celebrate the completion of your studies. As you depart your respective colleges, I encourage you to continue navigating with the same passion that got you through the last three months. You adapted and you overcame perhaps the biggest challenge in the history of our district and maybe of your life. You may be feeling like the direction forward is not clear, but accept that changes are going to change life always does. I would like to reflect on the word change. Change is a difficult thing. These are life-changing times. In times such as these, I encourage you to emphasize your strengths, continue working toward your education and career goals, and minimize any personal weaknesses. The world is changing, but with change comes opportunities too. Opportunities lead to change, Hopefully, as we emerge from this pandemic, the change will be positive. Someone once said, nothing is permanent except change. 
So I call on all of you to help move the needle on social justice issues. Social justice isn't just about distributing resources fairly and evenly. It is the assertion of the ideal that all humans should have the same rights and opportunities. This pandemic, for instance, has highlighted the social justice issues Americans face when individuals die because of the lack of adequate health care, access to food, or reliable shelter. So my message to you is that you matter. Your opinions matter. Your voice matters. Your ideas matter. You have an opportunity to help change and shape your communities. Part of the education process entails helping students find themselves. I hope over the course of your studies, you have gotten to know yourself. In fact, for just a moment, one moment, I ask you to ponder this question. How do you define yourself? I am passionate about education, which is why I have proudly devoted over 20 years to serving the community as a member of the board of Riverside Community College District. That is just one way I have chosen to define myself. My community activism has allowed me to push the social justice needle by ensuring the Inland Empire continues to provide education and work opportunities for those who seek a better life for themselves and their families. I look forward to learning about the coming chapters you write in your life's book. Remember, life isn't perfect. We are living that reality right now. It has many bends as well as ups and downs. In the end, it is how you navigate them that will make your life's book a bestseller. And you will have quite the story to tell. I know you dreamt of this day, although not like this. While we can't be together, know my colleagues on the Riverside Community College District Board of Trustees celebrate each and every one of you. So on behalf of the Riverside Community College District Board of Trustees, congratulations. While this chapter closes, the next chapter awaits your thoughts and reflections. I hope the inner voice you find changes not just the world, but makes a world of change. You, who are soon to be graduates of Riverside City College, have received the benefit of a community college education at an institution that is recognized across the state and nation for its excellence. For you, this marks the achievement of an important goal. Your work here has prepared you for the road ahead. It is our hope and expectation that as you move on to a career or a four-year university, that you will reflect on your time at RCC and feel pride in the fact that you are an alumnus of this great college. On behalf of the Riverside Community College District and the Board of Trustees, I accept the class of 2020.